This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Wednesday, the 7th of August. I'm Michael Graff. Temperatures fairly close to average over the next several days, but rain chances will be below normal. We are in the heart of the monsoon. This should be our wettest time of the year. And practically no shot at seeing any rain here in the valley and only isolated mountain thunderstorms. Let's talk about it first. The Almanac from yesterday. 102 degrees was the high that occurred after 6 p.m. Most of the day was spent under cloudy skies. The low was 89. Outside right now, here just after 8 a.m., we've got mostly cloudy skies out there. 91 degrees presently at Sky Harbor. The dew point at 66, humidity 44%. The winds are light and the barometer is steady. Temperatures out there right now, 80 degrees, the cool spot at Fort McDowell, 82 up on Thompson Peak. But most of us are in the upper 80s to middle 90s. The upper air look, high pressure is slowly being pushed off to the east in response to a developing trough along the west coast. And that will be the big player in keeping us dry for a while around here. The watch warning map, we've got heat advisories over parts of the northwestern states in the Great Basin up through Oregon, Washington, Idaho. And some heat advisories as well with that building ridge over the southern plains, a severe thunderstorm watch in parts of eastern Kansas. And the severe weather outlook for today, we've got the slight risk in effect for the middle Atlantic coast up through sections of New England, as well as southeast Minnesota, much of Wisconsin, and eastern Kansas and Missouri, with the broader marginal risk extending from the plains through the Midwest into portions of the Deep South all the way up to the Northeast. All right, the precipitation outlook valid through next Wednesday morning from the WPC. Rain amounts here in the valley, not a whole lot, maybe a few hundredths of an inch. Heavier totals for the White Mountains and parts of southeast Arizona and along the southern border. Any one spot can get more than what's shown here. This represents an average but we are going to dry out over the next several days, and we'll detail that now as we take a look at the models. Check it out. This is the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's our upper high being pushed off to the east, a southerly flow mostly across the area today, and uh, quite a bit of moisture in the mid-levels of the atmosphere, say between about 10 and 15,000 feet. So what that means for us down at the surface Mostly cloudy skies this morning, becoming partly cloudy this afternoon. Less cloud cover than what we saw yesterday, certainly. So we'll warm up a bit. Highs 102 to 105, but it will still be muggy. Tonight, an isolated shower, thunderstorm over the mountains, certainly. And maybe one of those tries to get into the deserts, but I just don't see that happening here in Phoenix. Lows tonight, mostly in the 80s. And then tomorrow, again, we'll do it up with partly sunny skies and high temperatures a little warmer, 104 to 107. Now, tomorrow night into Friday morning, uh, the GFS shows scattered showers and thunderstorms over eastern Arizona and maybe some of those outflow boundaries try to get in here uh, sometime late in the evening or overnight. But I just don't think we're going to get any rain out of that. So I'm going to keep it out of the forecast for now. And then Friday looks like a partly cloudy day and highs again pretty close to average, which is around 105. Over the weekend, we should really start to dry out as that trough along the west coast continues. Broader southwesterly flow continues. The high, our subtropical high, sits pretty much right over top of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So they'll be baking. We'll be warm, but seasonably so, and drying out. High temperatures on Saturday, um, somewhere around 105 again, and maybe a degree or two cooler on Sunday, thanks to the influence of that trough passing well to our north and conditions drying out only isolated thunderstorms in the eastern mountains now on monday there may not be any thunderstorms statewide and even if there is just maybe right along the new mexico arizona border but we should stay dry here in the valley high temperatures uh, probably around 100 to 104 and then tuesday will warm up a little bit but look at that statewide dry conditions if this verifies and we almost never see that here in the heart of the monsoon. Let's go out to a week from today. This is Wednesday the 14th. That's a dry pattern. We've got high pressure sitting off to the east and south and mainly a southwesterly to westerly flow aloft. Just does not look all that favorable for advecting moisture in here. And then going out 10 days, this is the end of the forecast period, Friday the 16th. And that still looks pretty dry with a trough passing through the Intermountain West, the Northern Rockies. Uh, a drier west-southwesterly flow continues. This is the heart of the monsoon. We should be seeing scattered to numerous showers and storms over the mountains every afternoon and trying to get into the, into the deserts. And we are just not going to see that for most of next week. And there is pretty good agreement among the global models about this solution. And that is the worst news for us. 
All right, checking out the temperatures through the period coming off of the GFS Ensemble. Highs pretty close to average or maybe even a couple of degrees shy of that for the next several days. But then as we get to next week or so, we'll warm it up a bit. Those overnight lows should mostly stay in the 80s, although a few spots may drop into the 70s, especially if we can get some drier air in here. All right, that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notifications. Your comments, questions, and suggestions are always encouraged as well. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Be safe out there, and you guys have yourselves a fantastic Wednesday.